Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss this question involving functions. So there is a function fx given 5x plus 3 upon 6x minus alpha and f of fx is given equal to x. So we have to find the value of alpha which is not given in the question what is alpha? There is a constant which is missing in the given function fx. So this is a question involving composite functions. We will see how we can solve this question just in seconds. That is the method we will discuss here and we will discuss one more method that is also the easy method to solve this question. So if you find my videos useful like and share it and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to get updates on the new videos. So now let's start solving this question. Let's discuss method number one. So the method number one is I will just use this identity that is f of fx is equal to x. So what I will do is I will put some input value here that is equal to 0. So what I will do is I will put fx equal to 0. So since we know f of fx is equal to x, so this is true for any value of x. So first method involves we just find some value of x for which input here is 0. So input is nothing but fx, so I will equate this to 0. So you will get the value of x minus 3 by 5. So if I will put this value of x here, so it will become f of f of minus 3 by 5 which is nothing but f of 0 only because f of minus 3 by 5 is 0. So it will become f of 0 and x is what nothing but minus 3 by 5. So it will generate a simple expression of f of 0 is minus 3 by 5. So now we can easily find the value of alpha because we know the value of fx at one of the points that is 0. So we will just put the value of x here 0. So it will give f of 0 is minus 3 by alpha and f of 0 we also know minus 3 by 5 from here. So if you compare these two values so you can see the value of alpha is nothing but 5. See the easier method we didn't even define f of fx value. What is f of x? That is if you will define f of fx so we will put x replace x with fx. So either you can also solve this question like this but that will be a lengthy expression. You will replace x with fx to define f of fx. So that will create a lengthy expression remember. So this is the easier way just to solve the question if you don't have to define f of fx. We just have to find alpha. This is how we can do it. This is a lengthy method that is the third method. I will tell you one more method to solve this question. The second method involves the property of inverse of a function. We know that composition of two functions if it is nothing but x then this function is inverse of this. So we can say that f of fx is equal to x it means fx is inverse of fx. So we can write it like this if you will take inverse both the sides it will become f inverse x it will become fx. So the function fx is inverse of itself. So now we will use this property to solve the question. So that is method 2. In method 2 we will do what? We will find the inverse of function fx. Now how do we find the function inverse? You will just put the value of fx equal to y and you will solve this equation and you will find x in terms of y. That is the method to find the inverse. Here y is in terms of x. The method is to find inverse is x in terms of y. That is how we will in terms of y. So this is what we will do to find the inverse. So to find x in terms of y we will do what? We will cross multiply this. Here it will become 5x plus 3 it will become 6xy minus alpha y. So I will combine this equation alpha y with 3, 3 plus alpha y, 5x will become to the right minus 5x. So now if you will see you can take x common here. So it will become x bracket 6y minus 5. So x in terms of y you will get 3 plus alpha y upon 6 y minus 5. So we know if y is a function of x, so x in terms of y will be what? x is become equal to f inverse of y. So this is what we are getting x in terms of y. This is how you find the inverse. fx equal to y just put x in terms of y if you are able to find that is the inverse of function f. So now we can solve this question easily because this is the equation we have to solve that is fx is nothing but equal to f of inverse x and now we know f of inverse of y. So y is just a placeholder you can put here x also. This is how you can define f inverse x. 
So now we have to compare this value to fx because both are equal. So if you will compare these two values, it means numerator part will remain same. Here if you will see 5x plus 3, here if you will see alpha x plus 3. Just by comparing, you can see the value of alpha is 5. And even if we compare the denominator part, that should also be the same. By comparing the denominator part, you can also see the value of alpha is nothing but 5. So this is the easy second method by which you can solve just by finding the inverse. So if f of fx is x, it means fx is equal to f inverse x. This is the property of functions. So these are the two methods in which we can solve these questions very easily just in seconds. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.